Today, we're going through and setting up our Framework 16 inch with our expansion cards. Let's go. Hello and welcome to my channel. We talk about everything tech, open source, but let's jump into today's project. Picking back up from last time, we're going to go through and specify where we're putting these plugs. This is interesting because they have a high power consumption in some spots that you plug in the USB-A. So, in this case, you want to avoid plugging in the USB-A near the back towards the black bar that you see. You can put them in the center and to the front and that's no problem. Do check the chart. I'll put a link in the description to make sure you're following the recommendations. So as we go through here, I love you going through and unwrapping these things. You're also able to be backwards compatible. And as far as I know, forwards compatible with every other framework laptop that's been created thus far. So both on my 13 inch and my upgraded 13 inch that's in my master cooler case, any one of these can be used. So on my right hand side, I do HDMI towards the front. I do USB-A in the center and USB-C for charging in the back. I'm doing the same USB-C charging in the back. On the left hand side and then center, I'm going USB-A. And then the top left hand side, I'm going the audio jack. Now, one of the things I really do enjoy about the 16 inch is these tabs that lock in the modules and this makes it to make sure when you plug in a cable the k the module here doesn't actually come out with the cable when you try to unplug it you did see a USB-C display back in the very back for the GPU we'll talk more about that later when we get into benchmarking so with this let's jump into our next section which is talking about the very first 180 watt GAN or GAN charger on the market, which was made by the framework folks. They also ship you a 240 watt cable for you to be able to go through and charge. On one side, it's straight. The other side is a 90 degree angle. So that provides great strain relief when you go through and plug that into the laptop. So we're just gonna plug that here into the left hand back side and then grab the other part of this which is gonna be for wherever you are getting this in the world. I'm in the States, United States, so going through, plugging this in off screen, and then let's jump into our next step. This is, almost feels like a rubber, but it's just like a detail, which is interesting. It's not exactly rubber. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. We're going to use the two tabs on the side here. When you pull them out, you'll see red or this orange color. Then you can slide your aluminum spacers here back toward you and it, they come right off from here you see these black little tabs you're supposed to be able to put your finger underneath and lift up there are also very strong magnets underneath here so sometimes it's a little bit of a bear to pick this up now it's preferred for you to be able to use these tabs and lift to a 45 degree angle lifting to the front of the laptop and then placing it back in what you just saw me doing with the keyboard isn't necessarily suggested because you kind of get the angles off. So anyway, getting the trackpad back installed on, you can go through, put that in, slide forward, it'll hook the little lip and you're good to go. We'll grab our aluminum side pieces again and put it back in place. I will say fit and finish, some people have gone through and talked about on the right hand side is a lot closer than the left hand side, but in my opinion, it's totally livable. So we're going to do a quick sample of the keyboard sound. Just a little sample there. Then if we talk about going through and looking at the backlight in a bright light, you can't see the difference. But if you turn your lights off, you're in a dark room. You've got at least three different settings. That's going to do the job fantastically. Now, while I was recording this, the number pad didn't light up after a reboot it matched what the rest of the keyboard did. So no worries there. Thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.